in 2020, we added crude oil uh, measurement capability to both the flow computers and the RTUs. Um, obviously, it's all in the standard um, code base, so it's available on all the products. So we started out with crude oil. So today we can measure both crude oil and natural gas in the same device. For liquid measurement, um, we focused on linear meters, by far the most common meter type for crude oil measurement. And we support both custody transfer measurement and allocation measurement. And I'll come on to what the differences are and what we mean by those shortly. But most of you will be familiar with the um, custody transfer measurement, which is to API um, chapter 12. The allocation measurement um, is to uh, API chapter 20.1, which is a, a draft standard at the moment. It's undergoing some major updates with the committee. We expect that to be published in the next year or so, although we never know quite when that's going to happen. But we've, we've taken it on board to support some of the allocation measurement methods in our standard firmware. And I'll hopefully explain on the next slide what we mean by that. So we have three crude oil calculation types. The left hand side is the type that you're probably the most familiar with, um, custody transfer. In custody transfer, um, we are using volume, co volume correction factors, CTL and CPL, which are as per API chapter 11.1, .1, to correct for the effects of pressure and temperature on the oil. And then there's an optional um, sediment and water correction. So that's pretty much the standard crude oil custody transfer calculation that most people are familiar with. When it comes to allocation, there are two methods. Um, one is called low water, the other one high water. So in the low water um, method, we essentially treat the oil and water mixture as one. We then apply a, a common CTL and CPL across to the, the mixture, and then we apply a shrinkage factor and that gives us our um, calculated oil uh, flow rates and totals and water flow rates and totals. However, the allocation high water method, as its name implies, is used where you have a much higher percentage of water um, in our oil. In this method, we actually separate the oil from the water and then um, apply a temperature correction to the water and then apply a shrinkage factor which would typically include pressure and temperature correction to the oil. So we apply those corrections separately um, to produce our um, oil and water flow rates and totals. But the default in our products um, is the custody transfer method, but the allocation method is there if you need it. So with our crude oil applications, um, we also need to um, have a source for our density. Um, this could be measured, this could be entered. We have three basic options. One is a station-based density, one is a meter-observed density, and one is a station-header density. So I'll very quickly go through what each of those means. If we have the, the base density, this really means we have a user-entered station-based density. Might get updated periodically by SCADA or manually, but we start with a base density, then we use the API chapter 11 calculations to calculate what the um, meter density is, or the density of the oil at meter pressure and temperature. So that's what we mean by base density. The meter observed density is really the option we would use with the Coriolis meter, where the meter itself is not only giving us a flow rate, but it's also giving us a density at the same pressure and temperature of the flow meter. So that's typically used in um, Coriolis meter applications. The third option would be what we call station header density. So here we're actually measuring the density, but it's not at the meter pressure and temperature. It's at a different pressure and temperature, which might be from a header. So hence station header density. So we measure the density at the header pressure and temperature conditions. Then we use the API chapter 11 to get us to the base density. And then we use chapter 11 again to get us to the the meter density. So those are the three methods um, of us um, measuring our, our crude oil density, station-based density, meter-observed density, or station-header density.